my sunshines, welcome back and thanks for popping in. I'm really happy you're here. So today we're gonna talk about the February 2023 Habitation Box. This is a home decor subscription box and she has three different plans that you can choose from. She has a mini mystery box, which is gonna give you four mystery items for $49.99 or her other two boxes are more curated boxes. So there's the original box, which is gonna give you four to six items for $69.99 or there's the Elite Box, which we're going to take a peek at today, which is going to be six to nine items for $129.99. Now, what I like about the Habitation Box is you can subscribe to any of these plans either monthly if you just want some more home decor or you need a little extra help, or you can do quarterly if you just want a sprinkling or a seasonal refresh. Now, Kelly is the owner. She likes really neutral color palettes, so occasionally we will get a pop of color, but most of the items are gonna go with a lot of different kinds of decor styles. She also likes things that are multifunctional, which I appreciate. So if you follow her over on Instagram or Facebook, she will take some of the items and she will put them maybe in a kitchen, maybe on a bookshelf, maybe in a bathroom or an entryway and show you all the different different ways that she will use them throughout your home which I appreciate because most of the things I can figure out how to use, but sometimes I'm like, what would you do with this? And she gives us a little bit of inspiration, which is really great too. Now, Kelly will also give you some interior design um, advice. You can take a picture of a wall or an area of your home and send it over to her if you're a subscriber, and she will send you back some inspiration pictures of things that she thinks you can do to kind of spruce up your home, which I do appreciate that also. Now, I do have a discount code for 10% off this box, so if you want to check it out, I will link that down below. But as always, I always pin uh, the discount code to any box that I do to the very top of the comments. So if you can't find the description box, just go all the way to the top of the comments and you will find it there. I decided you guys this year that I am building Georgia Sunshine big. This platform I would like to grow and I'd love to take you along with me. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, do me a favor and go ahead and hit it. Check and make sure if you think you've subscribed that you still are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. It would mean the absolute world. I'm so thankful to each of you. Now let's dig into the box. It's pretty big and I have to say it's got some weight to it this time. It's a nice heavy box. Now Kelly usually will give us like one or two nods to whatever holiday is coming up, which I appreciate. For instance, Valentine's Day is not one that I go whole hog for decorating, but I do like to sprinkle some items throughout my home. So I'm hoping she'll give us a little bit of that here. Oh, and she is. I see something right at the top. We'll give you a little sneaky peek. I'm going to grab this first thing first. This feels like it's a flower sack towel. Yes. Oh, it says love lives here. And it looks like the roses, I always say this about roses from Alice in Wonderland when the cards are singing, we're painting the roses red, we're painting the roses red. <laughs> anyway, isn't that adorable? I have some red terry cloth um, towels that I used at Christmas that would be cute paired with this like hung over my oven. I'm always happy for tea towels. I say this every time because my husband and my children are not gentle with the tea towels. They always get wrecked. So this one's really soft too. Love that. Okay, the next thing we have is a little three pack. Looks like a set of shelf setters. That's what I call them anyway. Um, maybe something you can put on your tiered tray. So the first one says, I'm yours, no refunds. Adorable. The next one is, oh, a cute little white heart. This kind of goes with any decor. Y'all, okay, hear me out when I tell you this, because if I heard somebody tell me this, I would think they were crazy, but I actually saw another YouTuber do this, and it was so cute. They took a pink feather boa, like a kid's princess boa you get at the Dollar Tree or whatever, and they took that boa, and they wrapped it around their tiered tray, so the feathers kind of... Um, filled in any empty spots and then they took their decor and kind of mixed it in among the boa it was so cute it was a little bit like ooh la la but it was an over the top but it was adorable it looked so much cuter than you're probably thinking it does when i'm explaining it to you if you try that tag me on instagram but if you're looking for a cute way to decorate a tiered tray go get a really cheap boa Red and pink would work, and you could mix some of this in. How adorable. And we have one more, and this one says, you are my favorite pain in the butt, although it says a different word. We're a 
family friendly channel here. So I'm just going to say, but although I have teenagers and I'm sure that they use those words too. So that's going to be fine in my house. Okay. The next thing we have is I think a banner. I love a banner because I feel like you can put this anywhere through your house and they make a big impact. So this one says XOXO and it's got, oops, I think this one is upside down. Oh, I'm just holding it wrong. There we go. It's got a little heart. So I have a banner right now that is in my kitchen window, which is adorable. This would be cute um, on a island. If you've got a console table in your entryway, this would be cute hanging from it. Oh, I think I know where I'm going to put this one in my guest bathroom at the very top. So it's not obstructing the mirror, you know, kind of up here. How fun is that? Cute. All right. Love that. The next thing we got, and Kelly always does some kind of floral or greenery, which I appreciate. And this time we got roses. These roses look like they came straight out of a bunch from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's roses, don't you? Like, I just want to stick my nose in them. They don't smell, though. I probably could spray some something on them. Aren't they pretty? What's the name of this kind of rose? Because it's my favorite, I think. Isn't that beautiful? When I was growing up, my grandmother had tons and tons of rose bushes and each rose bush had a name of one of the family members. And so it was really cool. They were all a different color. I love that memory. Okay, the next thing we have in here, I'm liking this box so far. Looks like this, ooh. Did you hear that sound? I'm kind of freaking out. I think it goes this way, maybe. Oh, whatever this is, it's gorgeous. Okay, it looks like a box and look at the carving. Now, right off the bat, I noticed the variation in wood color, but this is all one piece of wood. This is stunning. You know, I like this because my floors are a little bit more like red and so it kind of would pick up the red in my floors. But if you're um, doing darker, I love the texture on this and the different color. Okay, why would that rattle though? <gasps> no way. Okay, first of all, it opens all the way. I appreciate that. And then we have another box. It's like a little baby box. And it's carved also. And look at this one. If your house is more gray, it's going to pick up the grays. These are nice size boxes too. Like my hand fits in here. My thumb's a little, you know, off, but that's a big size. Wow, and then look at this one. I could probably fit two hands in here. Wow, this would be great for love letters or really anything. You could stack these together, kind of at an angle, add some like antique books in front of them. Or if you've got a great big tray, you could put it on your coffee table um, and do maybe a vase with these. We've had so many, um, kind of vessels and pots that we could put these in from past habitation boxes. And I love that about habitation box. You can kind of mix and max, match from past boxes. Really cute. Ooh, you know what? I just had an idea for this too. They're coming. If you didn't want to do this as a tea towel and you had an island, you could just put this down on your island, kind of catty cornered, and do this in a vase. Oh, cute idea. Okay, these are beautiful. These are great for bookshelves too. If you just need some filler in a bookshelf, look at the coloring of those, but the texture just adds so much with that carved wood on the top. My goodness, this is a good box. And there's still two more items. Okay, there's something in styrofoam here. This is where the weight comes from. This is a picture frame, which I have to say, I get a lot of home decor boxes. We hardly ever get picture frames and this one is beautiful again with that gorgeous texture like my room's a little bit more neutral but I feel like my bedding's a little girly and this goes well with that but I also think if you had more of a masculine room with more wood this would be pretty too gosh this is heavy these would be beautiful maybe not set together but like on different shelves with some greenery wouldn't that be pretty styled together? You could even um, print out like a little saying if you wanted to put this in the kitchen somewhere or something. You wouldn't have to do a picture if you didn't want to. Put it in an office with a motivational like, you know, saying. All right, we have one more item in here. It's big, but it's pretty light, so I'm intrigued. <gasps> what is this? <gasps> no 
way. Look how beautiful. This has a lot of impact. This is stunning. So first of all, you see this sort of gray wood in just strips in the middle, and then you've got that rattan or wicker. I'm not really sure. Isn't that beautiful? It's got a little woven part along the top, and oh, it's got a glassed in place to put a candle. Now, I would say if you were having a dinner party and it's getting a little bit um, warmer out, this would be so pretty in a tree. I wouldn't leave this out year round because obviously I don't think it would be weatherproof, but this would be also beautiful in this as a centerpiece um, during a summer tablescape outside. This is going to be really pretty in my sunroom, and you know what I think would be gorgeous with this is if you get like a spider plant you know one of those or any kind of plant that's like really viney maybe a fern or something that kind of you could like interweave through this and let it hang down wouldn't that be so beautiful like you could even put this like on a plant stand and let the plant like drape oh, I know it's not meant for plants but that might be how I use it how would you style this let me know wow she outdid herself with this box. So we got the lantern, those gorgeous two boxes, this beautiful frame, the roses, the little shelf setter set of three, the banner, and I feel like there was something else. Oh, the tea towel. Wow. I really like this box. What did you think? Again, if you want to try it, I'm going to leave my discount code for 10% down below. And you guys, I missed uploading on Saturday. So you're going to get a video every day this week. So I will be back tomorrow on Tuesday. Make sure you tune in and I'll see you then. Bye-bye guys.